Is there any way Central Asian countries can hedge against expanding and growing Chinese influence in the security and military domains in Central Asia? Yes. Can they do it on their own? Perhaps. My name is Farkot Aminjonov, Assistant Professor at Zayed University, United Arab Emirates. Before joining ZU, I was a Deputy Director at the Central Asia Institute for Strategic Studies based in Almaty. But external assistance can really accelerate the process. And the only power with the same resources and the interest to engage in providing support to Central Asian countries to diversify their dependence on Russia and China that comes to my mind is Europe. Our study also focuses on the detailed engagement of the European Union in providing such support to Central Asian states. And as I said, the study finishes with a set of recommendations to the policymakers, including integrated approach that the European countries have been pursuing over the years, continue to do the same thing, but with more focus on security and military. If before European engagement, perhaps in some areas wasn't that visible, EU support to military and security domains for Central Asian countries would definitely gain a lot of traction and visibility. Also, the European countries are very proactive when it comes to assessing potential threats. And this is included in the EU strategy towards Central Asian countries and the EU newly adopted strategic compass. So the EU is not just assessing the potential threats, but it can also work together with Central Asian countries on preventing a potential impact of expanding uh, security presence of such countries as Russia and uh, China in the region. Last but not least, the paper argues that the European Union should not change the course. It has to stay on the course of supporting democracy, accountability, transparency, trying to build resilience not just on the high government level, but also on the local level, making society resilient to both existing and emerging security threats coming from inside the region, but also from outside the region. And in this, I, I cannot think of any actor better than the European Union.